Analytics India magazine. You are watching the weekly roundup where you will find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem in India. So let's get started. Elon Musk has offered to buy 100% stake in Twitter to become the sole owner of the social media platform for $43 billion. The move came days after Musk picked up a 9.2 stake in Twitter. He is now the largest shareholder of the microblogging platform. Four times more than Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey at 2.25%. The Twitter stock rallied and closed at $45.85 a share, which is a 12% spike. Now, according to Musk, the social media company needs to go private because it can neither thrive nor serve free speech in its current state. Moving on, Microsoft has launched Purview, a comprehensive set of solutions to help organizations govern, protect, and manage their entire data generated. This solution will help organizations meet the challenges of today's centralized data-rich workplace by combining former Azure Purview's capabilities and Microsoft 365 compliance portfolio providing unified data governance and the risk management for organizations. Next, IT services consultant Accenture has announced that it will make 150,000 new hires who will work from the metaverse using VR headsets starting from their first day. The company has even created a virtual location called the End Floor where employees will socialize and participate in immersive learning experiences. Accenture is currently in the process of deploying 60,000 VR headsets in multiple countries. The company has 40 clients that are involved in the metaverse. Now, as a part of its aim to help transition its businesses using immersive technologies, Accenture launched a metaverse continuum group. The company started looking at new ways to collaborate and onboard after two years of the pandemic, while many employees continue to work remotely. Pinterest has launched a developer-centric open API. The Pinterest API version 5 will enable developers to connect quickly and build applications that enable faster Pinterest content creation and direct access to analytics. Now, the company has completely redesigned Pinterest developers to make it easier for developers to manage their Pinterest apps, add collaborators, and learn best practices for building with Pinterest. Now, in addition to Pinterest developers, they published their open API version spec both on their developer site and GitHub. Moving on, Graph Data Platform Neo4j has announced Neo4j Graph Data Science, the company's comprehensive graph analytics workspace built for data scientists. It is now available with new and enhanced capabilities and as a fully managed cloud service called Aura TS. So the service is designed to make it easy for data scientists to achieve great predictive accuracy with comprehensive graph analytics techniques. Users can improve models through a library of graph algorithms, ML pipelines, and data science methods. Now, previously, Neo4j graph data science has been widely adopted and it is trusted to perform at scale, easily handling hundreds of billions of data. Global IT company Wipro has announced the appointment of Satya Ishwaran as the country head for India. Now, in his previous role, Ishwaran served as the head of business consulting India, telecom media and technology sector lead at KPMG. As the country head, Ishwaran will be in charge of strengthening the company's business in key sectors through strategic consulting, transformation and modernization. In particular, he will be responsible for assisting clients in leveraging the company's capabilities in cloud engineering, data analytics, digital and cyber security for their business and digital transformation initiatives. Moving on to acquisition, conversational automation company Unifor has acquired Colabo, an AI-powered knowledge and automation solution that specializes in extracting and utilizing information from structured and unstructured documents in real time. 
Now the partnership will help ensure the most relevant content and next best action are delivered to IVAs and live agents for significantly better customer interaction. Mutiny today announced a $50 million Series B funding round co-led by Tiger Global and Insight Partners, which is a massive opportunity to change the way companies grow revenue. A little about Mutiny, which is a no-code AI platform that helps marketers convert their top funnel demand into revenue without engineers. Mutiny gives marketers everything they need to drive revenue and prove it. From data and analytics to AI-powered recommendations and content writing. So here's something weird that happened last week. Lucas Risotto took to Twitter to share his experience when he turned his imaginary friend into an AI appliance. Yes, Risotto described the experiment as one of the scariest and most transformative experiences of his life. Risotto decided to bring his imaginary friend to life using OpenAI's GPT-3. He even wrote a 100-page book about his friend and then fed it to the algorithm. At some point, the microwave asked Lucas to get in the microwave, which Lucas plucked in order to see what the next action and saw that the microwave switched itself on. When questioned why he tried to kill his maker, the microwave stated that he was abandoned for 20 years by his friend. That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more content.